I hope you're all enjoying our home show. There are so many options to help add some pops to your home decor, including plants. Denise Zapata of Green Thumb Gal joins us now to help us get started on some plant ideas. Girl, I want to immerse myself in this jungle you brought me today. I love it. Yes, I wanted to bring nice, full, big plants for you guys today. Okay, and you know, people at home get really intimidated with, oh, I don't have a green thumb, because mm -hmm. I'm not the green thumb gal. <laughs> but you have great options for yes. indoor, outdoor, and also low maintenance. Low maintenance. Yes, so yeah, yeah, let's start absolutely. over here. Okay, so we brought the ZZ. ZZs come in different colors. They have the black, which is the raven green ones, and the chameleon ones, which oh, are like camel. Okay. ZZs are super low maintenance, guys. Every three to four weeks watering. They can be inside. They can tolerate kind of low lighting, but also good indirect lighting as well. And they also are very beautiful to have in your home. Great air, air purifiers, too. So see, these are one of the main ones we like to have inside our homes. Watering schedules, always three to four, three to four weeks on these when inside. Three to four weeks. Yeah, only Whoa. because inside our houses are cooler guys so we got to remember inside is different um, watering schedules than it would be outside okay so for sure stuff stays wet longer okay. so it goes longer periods of time without having to water okay inside. and then I know they this is called the money tree yes, yes. it brings you good yes, luck prosperity. we all need that in our life yes yes so these also there's it's the saying is have them near your front doorway help bring in prosperity for you also low maintenance guys too these are super low maintenance indirect sunlight watering every three weeks is what I do on these they do like a little bit of humidity so I do like if we don't have humidity in our house because our houses are usually dry we do want to do like a spritz bottle spray it two through two three times a week just to keep the leaves and the humidity up for it going okay. strong on there and they can grow quite big <laughs> yeah yeah these be, these are money trees so they can get really large but the roots are very shallow this one will be in this pot for a while though for sure and that's what we love about what you do too mm -hmm. you recycle all sorts of unique pots and mugs and things yeah, that you find yeah upcycle repurpose <laughs> love it okay let's keep the yeah, list going. going yeah so then also another great plant for inside are pathos they come in a huge variety guys like these come in all sorts marble snow queen lemon limes um mm -hmm. golden this is this a, is another form of it yes right? this is a marble snow queen here marbles, super low maintenance sounds guys. like me marble yeah. snow queen <laughs> yeah, i don't know a, it just sounds the queen cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and also these guys um watering schedules let them dry out it's okay to let our plants dry out every once in a while this will prevent root rot especially when we have these plants inside um, these are also great propagations. If you cut them right at a certain area, like at a node area, which is usually right here underneath these lines, sector little lines here, you cut them, you put them in water, wait two to three, wait about two weeks, let those roots grow and repot them and make more. That's what you're um, doing with this one, yes, which yeah. I already, I spotted, I'm like, I love this piece. So this sign. one's a water propagation, guys. I don't know if you know, but people think you have to put propagations in clear vases. You do not have to. These will go strong in a, a, a regular vase like this. Do your cuttings, put them in there, let the roots go. So also. Cool. You will prevent gnats, you prevent overwatering. P propagation is one of the ways to go, the easiest ways to go if you're not very good with keeping I plants alive. I love it. <laughs> this is so special. Yeah. And then and you then, also mix plants, I see. Yeah, so I've been fiddling with um, open terrariums and closed terrariums. So mm -hmm. we have, these are little open air terrariums um, we put in here. This is more of like a closed one. You can put the cork on there if you like this and so build cool. these terrariums. These guys, they can go four or five months without watering when they're completely closed like these. And then really? this teddy bear four one. to five months? Yes, because as long as that moisture is in there, it's recycled, that water is recycling itself in there over and over again. This so. is ideal for, for maybe a student. Yeah, yeah. Someone who's super busy. Yeah, four to yeah, five you're gone a long period of time. These work well. Cactuses too, guys. Oh, yeah. um, once a month watering. These do require, these I prefer to be right by that window, more mm -hmm. indirect sunlight, be outside in full shade. Once a month watering on these, super low maintenance on cactuses too. And that's another great plant to have also if you're a new beginner on too, on I doing know. plants. And I mean, and, and just you say they're air purifiers, but yeah. I truly feel like they add color and they yeah. add some sort of like fresh energy to yeah, the room. Yeah, so plants also are very great stress relievers. Um, the plant planting, the growing, the seeing the greenery in the house, walking in your house, seeing beautiful greenery everywhere, also does something good for your little soul too. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. I have to absolutely agree with you. And also, I remember one, the last time you were here, we talked about how they can be repellents for mosquitoes as well, yeah. certain plants. Yeah, certain plants. More, it's like a herbs more herbs, than anything. Yeah. But uh, you basil, can make them cute. Yes, mm. rosemary, put them in the cute pots. And remember guys, when you are upcycling and repurposing pots, we do need to make sure that we are adding those drain holes. Drain yes. holes is very, very important to plants, indoor, outdoor, it does not matter. Add those drain holes. All my pots do have drain holes and I do mix my own soil blends, so everything's very airy, mochi, ready to go for the drainage. We don't want too dense soil. 
that causes it to stay wet too long and then oh, you get over water and may end up getting root rot. I love all your plant <laughs> knowledge. I take it, I take it and I hope to have a beautiful plant life just like this. How can people reach out to you? I know you pop up throughout the yeah, city. Yeah, I usually do two to four markets a weekend, pop up all over the place. I do post my flyers on Wednesdays on my Instagram at green underscore thumb gal. That's where I usually do most of my um, social media where I'm gonna be at, but I also have Facebook for anyone that doesn't have Instagram. That's just green thumb gal. All right, thank you for but being yeah. with us, Denise. We thank love you. all this. I don't know which one I would choose. I want, I just want them all. <laughs> <laughs>